People talk about gynecomastia as being man boobs, but in fact, gynecomastia means woman boobs on a man. Gynaco as in gynecology, and mastia from breast. And in technical terms, gynecomastia occurs, or is said to occur, when there is a breast disc, a lump under the nipple that you can feel. More often, it's not just the nipple, but swelling of the breast tissue, and quite often there's a lot of surrounding fat. Gynecomastia can have such an effect on a man's life that when he's got to the stage where he's struggling to live with the way things are, he really needs to understand that there is a surgical solution, there is an operation which can help him. In America, breast reduction surgery is now the fourth most popular cosmetic procedure for men. The pressure on men to look good is huge. You look in the newspaper and magazines, clothes, hair, gel, smells, you know, exercise, dieting, you know, all these things are about people looking good and feeling good about themselves. In a country where men strive for physical perfection, having breasts can have a devastating effect on a man's body image. Alex Gonzalez is so inhibited by his breasts that he is never undressed in front of another person, let alone a woman. And at 30 years old, is still a virgin. It's funny because that movie that came out, 40 year old virgin, I said, gosh, it's gonna be two more years. That movie is gonna be just dedicated for me. And it's, it's sad. I've had three or four girlfriends, but I consider my girlfriends, but I've never been intimate with them. Um, and before it goes to that step, I end it. No one has ever seen them, and it took days for him to psych himself up to show us his chest. Even myself, I get embarrassed taking off my shirt. When I'm by myself, I can't. I go to the bathroom and I just look at my face. I don't look at my chest just to block it out. My life is not going anywhere unless I correct my condition. That's how I feel right now, emotionally. Alex has made the decision to have surgery and is flying to the West Coast to see a specialist in male breast reduction. Hopefully this is gonna be for the good. I'm just being very positive because I think it's the best thing to do. Just be positive about it and, you know, come out okay. He is going alone, having told his friends and family he's on a university trip. Alex is hoping surgery will give him the confidence to leave his lies and secrets behind. Wrong. Alex has chosen a specialist in San Francisco. Dr. Delgado treated nearly 100 men last year. It's going up every year, without question. It's going up every year. Our culture is very hard on men for having a large chest. Um, it's very accepting for a man to have a large gut. I mean, no one even thinks about it. But as soon as it comes to their chest, it changes completely. First, Dr. Delgado examines Alex's chest. And let me just take this off for me. Okay. Okay. All right, I want you to just relax. Now, the first thing is great. You have nice pecs, you know, which is really good. You have really good quality skin. What I want you to do is give me a nice flex with your pec. Okay. And so all this is the tissue that we're talking about. Okay, because your It's the first blood. time anyone has ever touched Alex's breasts. Um. Dr. Delgado uses pictures so he can compare Alex to other cases and show him the options available. Yeah, um, you, know, you can see the protrusion of the nipple, and what's poking that nipple out is that hard gland there. 
And so afterwards, we've got a nice, you know, so the gland contour. is right underneath the yeah. The, the nipple. That's that's the center of the gland. This is what I call the Snoopy look from when you do liposuction only. He's had it done twice, and so that gland is just kind of like hanging down. So after the gland's taken out, then we get a much more contour and contraction there. A patient like this, you know, I know he's going to have the loose areola. Look how stretched that is. And this is a case where one would do a secondary procedure on him. But I tell him that up front, because I know there's no way that this is going to shrink back. Approximately 10% of men who have gynecomastia surgery go back for another procedure to remove loose skin or breast tissue that wasn't taken the first time round. It's the morning of Alex's operation. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Good, Doctor. All set oh, to yeah, go? I'm ready. Good. A little bit of a bee sting here. I'm actually looking forward to this change. It, it needs to happen now. Dr. Delgado treats patients from all over the states and has men travel from other countries to see him. He has a particular technique for achieving a smooth overall contour. Rather than just focusing on the front of Alex's chest, he performs liposuction from the sides and back as well. When I do liposuction of the armpit area, I turn the patient on their side and I stretch their arm out to really expose it well, and then I make one or two holes to extract the fat in a very aggressive way. The more fat that's taken underneath the skin, the better contraction we'll get, so the elastic fibers can do their work. I place the patient elevated at about 70 or 80 degrees. That allows me to see how gravity affects their chest. I'm comparing side by side, and I'm trying to do to the best of my ability to match them. It's like an artist painting, you know, he'll sit there for hours and just paint landscape. Well, I'm kind of doing that in my own world. After four and a half hours of surgery, nearly five and a half pints of fat and breast tissue have been removed from Alex's chest. You're doing great. Let's put your arms right down here by your side. Take a nice deep breath. Alex will have to wait at least a month to have his dressings and stitches removed. But the next morning, he can't resist taking a peek at his chest. It looks good from up here. Quite different. I mean, it's still swollen. I think it's gonna take a while, months to for it to go down, but it's gonna be great, I think. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Dr. Delgado comes to check there's no bleeding. You look perky. <laughs> good to see you. Yeah. Yeah, on this side. Everything looks nice. There is no doubt that Alex's operation has been a success. And with that knowledge, he can start to look to the future. It was quite hard, but I'm glad I did it, because I feel, I do feel better. I do feel better about myself. I'm looking forward to a new life, more than anything. As I told Alex, your chest will look good in a few months. Your mind and the way you look at yourself have to catch up to it. You still have to get over the scars that have been implanted in your mind about your self-image. And he will get there, but it just takes a little bit of time. My experience men, uh, after having the surgery, as a general statement, are very happy, extremely happy, life-changing happy. Yeah.